Hello Sagittarius, thank you for joining me for your love reading for the month of July 2024. As always, please only take the messages that are yours and leave what isn't for you for someone else, okay? Don't force fit the messages to go with your situation, right? You're going to know instinctively what messages are for you and what messages are for someone else. Also, if you're not interested in love, then I do urge you to go check out your start of the month read that I released for you, which is more to do with your lifestyle in general, okay? Right, and for everyone else who is staying, we are going to be taking a look at who is currently thinking of you, how they see you at this point in time, how they feel about you and the actions that they're likely going to take towards you, okay? Right, so what is going on for Sag in love, please? Sag in love for the month of July. Okay, right, so how this person sees you, you've got the Empress, the Seven of Cups, the Three of Coins, the Five of Cups and the Page of Cups. Okay, so this individual sees that you're currently in your divine feminine energy. It doesn't matter if you identify as masculine or feminine, okay? It's not about your gender, it's about the energy. So this person sees that you're very abundant, uh, that you're very successful. With that Seven of Cups, though, it indicates that there is some kind of confusion here surrounding a project or surrounding teamwork, surrounding something that they're wanting to achieve with you. There's some kind of uh, confusion surrounding that. What's going on? Thank you. Justice. Okay. Um, confusion about maybe the legalities of something that you're trying to do here. What's going on with justice? Knight of Cups. An offer. Some kind of offer. So they're confused about bringing you this offer. It could be a romantic offer. They might just be confused about your marital status here, okay? Because justice can indicate um, a contract, a commitment as well, like a legal commitment. And then Five of Cups to the Page of Cups. Okay, so they see that you're not entirely happy with this energy. Can you tell us more for what's going on with this, how this person sees Sag at this point in time? What's going on? Why the five? Thank you. The three of spades. Okay. Trouble. Interesting. Um, this individual who's thinking of you heavily, Sag, is seeing that you're being more loyal and faithful to another person who isn't that loyal and faithful towards you. There's a message here about concerns of infidelities and then the Page of Cups, which could be... Um, it could, it could just be you trying to remain optimistic and positive here with the Page of Cups. you got the Seven of Diamonds in reverse. Okay, that's unpleasant rumors, scandals, challenges here at work. So is somebody here discussing your private business when they shouldn't be? In, in terms of some kind of infidelity? In terms of someone um, betraying you, you've got people gossiping here at work about what's going on in your private life. And this person who's thinking of you heavily is aware that this is going on. Okay, with the with the cartomancy coming out in the reverse, that's basically intensified energy. intensified so, so the gossip's being intensified someone's adding fuel to the fire here about your private life about gossiping about your private life how does this person see Sag at this point in time 
That's very unpleasant energies, yeah, the women. And this one's come out in the reverse position here. So, so there could be a spiteful woman around you or a spiteful feminine. So it could be a man who just carries a lot of feminine energies to them. Um, okay. That could, that could be someone on the verge of a split, a divorcee, something like that with the women in reverse. It's weird messages. How does this person feel towards Saj, please? How do they feel? This person who's thinking of Saj, how do they feel? Okay. Death, the Queen of Cups, and the Three of Cups. This person feels that it's time for you to move on here, Sarge, okay? Death is change, it's liberation and transformation. So this person feels that, that you're needing to release this here, release a person who isn't respect, uh, respecting you, being respectful of you. They're saying there's actually multiple people here that you're needing to cut loose. That spiteful woman there included in this. Can you tell us more for Saj, please? On how this person feels. Okay. We have one more on how this person feels towards Saj. Thank you. Okay. The King of Diamonds off balance. Um, that's someone very, very stubborn, but it's like they're, they're stubborn to the point where even when they know that they're wrong, they're never going to admit it. Okay. A king of diamonds off balance is someone who doesn't want, they, they don't want to look at the truth. They don't want to take accountability. Okay. They're, they're just stubborn for the sake of power and control and dominance. And then you've got the eight of clubs. That's difficulties in love, trouble in relationships. You're having trouble with this stubborn person here. It's kind of like dictatorship, dictator energy here. So someone who's thinking of you heavily, Sag, feels that you're being dictated to by an individual who is just being constantly horrible and or abusive to you. And they're wanting for you to leave that person. They're wanting for you to cut them loose. Because they feel genuinely like you deserve far, far more with this Queen of Cups far more than what you're actually getting. It's almost like this person is observing you and they're thinking of you and they've got a lot of empathy for you, empathy for your situation here. And they're like, I can't believe Sarge is sticking it out with that Billy. Or trying to make something work with someone who is a Billy. I can't believe that Sarge would engage with this asshole. Doesn't Sag realize that they that they need and they deserve better? So it's almost like this person sees your worth and your value and they're worried in case you cannot see your own worth and your own value. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Cancerian. You could be dealing with a Libra. Taurus also. You could be, but you don't have to be, okay? That's just the, the energy that's dominant in your read. Okay, can you tell us more for how this person feels towards Saj? They genuinely feel like you're not being treated right, Saj. This person feels that you're not being treated the way that you should be. How does this person feel towards Saj? Okay, the bouquet. 
They believe that they can treat you better. The bouquet, the ladder, the mountain, and the anchor. Yeah. Yeah, they genuinely believe that they can treat you better than this bully that you're currently dealing with. Mountain and anchor. They're an obstacle. They keep causing obstacles in your life. Okay, again, it's stubborn, rigid energy. They're, they're a very challenging person. I feel also that this bully that you're dealing with has already challenged this person here that genuinely loves you and cares for you and wishes that you would stop entertaining that bully. Now, I don't know if this is like a love rival type situation or if this is... Um, Maybe your partner sees that, that you're dealing with a member of your family who is a bully to you. And they're like, Sarge, why do you keep dealing with them? Why don't you just cut them off? Why don't you just tell them to GTFO? Because every time you speak to them, every time you deal with them, you get upset here. Okay, do you see what I mean? You've got someone here who's thinking of you heavily, who loves you, who cares for you, who is incredibly protective over you, and they do not want you dealing with this person up here who is a bully anymore. They're saying that they're stifling you, they're stifling your creativity, they're confusing you, they're making things complicated. It's almost as if they're having you work extra, extra, super, super hard, and still... They're never happy, and therefore they're making you unhappy. They've always got something to say here, something to complain about. They're also a gossip. They're a massive gossip. And the person who loves you and cares for you that doesn't want you to associate with that Billy anymore knows full well that that Billy is also incredibly two-faced. They're saying it's time for you to get some stability in your life here with the anchor. Okay. What actions will they take towards Saj, please? I have one more for their actions towards Saj. I don't think it's going to give me one more for you, Sarge. No. We will take a look at these two of swords, four of wands. Yeah, it's time for you to decide here, Sarge, what is truly, truly important to you. You, you have to make a decision when it comes down to your stability here with the four of wands, okay? The one who loves you here, who sees you dealing with this Billy, their actions towards you is the Seven of Wands. So they're going to bring this up with you and you might not like it, okay? You might not like perhaps the way that they say it because it, it, it is quite an abrasive energy, the Seven of Wands. It can come across as argumentative, but ultimately this individual is... is um, saying that they're, they're only bringing your attention to the obvious because they do care for you, okay? That they're wanting for you to start standing up for yourself. And if you don't, then they are going to start standing up for you instead, which they'd rather not do because that's crossing certain boundaries of yours here, okay? They don't want to have to go down that path, but they absolutely will fight for you if necessary. And tell us more about, thank you, interesting, two spades, eight of spades off balance. This is caution, this is deceit, it's danger, okay, it's misfortune, this is upsets, it's arguments, it's falsehoods, falsehoods. So this person who loves you is going to be revealing to you all of the falsehoods of this billy all of the lies all of the deceit that's why it's off balance because at the moment it's still kind of hidden from you 
Okay, so th this person's saying, Sarge, please don't shoot the messenger. Please don't go mad with me. But I found out this information about this Billy that you're dealing with. They are a Billy. They are two-faced. That they're, they're gossiping over here. They're doing this, that, and the next. Okay, and then five spades. Obstaculty, oh, obstaculties, there's a spoonerism between difficulties and obstacles. There you go, I just made up a word, obstaculties. Um, speaking of made up words, aren't all words made up? There we go, mind blown. Um, obstacles and difficulties, okay, that will eventually lead towards success. That's your five of spades. It's temporary anxieties. It's a temporary problem. So the, the one who loves you is going to be um, putting forth to you ideas on how you can deal with this bully. And they're saying, look, you, you, you genuinely do not have to put up with this at all. Okay. Yeah. Six of uh, hearts at the bottom of the deck. That's someone who's being very generous to you. It's someone who's being very warm and friendly and someone who honestly does care deeply, deeply for you and for your safety, okay? The Six of Hearts is someone taking a warm interest in you, okay? It's someone being um, very generous and they see you as being a very generous person also. Interesting. Tell us more about their actions towards Saj, please. Yeah, the birds. They're going to be delivering you this news. They're going to be delivering this um, unfortunate news. But again, they, it tells me that they're also going to be delivering a solution to your problem with dealing with this Billy. I feel that they're wanting to speak to this Billy on your behalf, but they're not going to do it without your permission because that is going to be crossing certain boundaries of yours. So it feels to me like they're going to be asking you for your permission. Look, do you want me to deal with them for you? Do you want me to speak to them for you? Do you want me to get rid of them for you? Do you know what I mean? When I, oh, oh, no, no, no. When I say get rid of them for you, I don't mean anything nefarious, okay? I just mean, and, and what they mean is, look, you want this person to stop bothering you. If yes, I can deal with them for you, okay? It, it's nothing illegal, don't worry, okay? It's not that kind of get rid. <laughs> you got the fish at the bottom of the deck, which is all about abundance and prosperity, okay? Um, it, it's things getting better because it's about gains. Um, so yeah, literally this person who loves you is going to be proving to you, look, you have everything to gain and nothing to lose by dealing with this bully. Okay. They're saying like, you do not have to put up with that. Why are you putting up with that? You've got the three of wands at the bottom of the deck, which is all about rapid growth, expansion and improvements. Okay, it's about broadening your horizons. Um, it's thinking differently about your situation. It's uh, future proofing and future planning. Okay, so can you honestly imagine yourself dealing with that Billy way, way, way into the future? Probably not. I would hope not. Okay, you, they're, they're saying literally, look, you've got to think about the future. You've got to consider how deeply unhappy dealing with that Billy makes you. You've got to put your happiness first and foremost. You have a healing message for Saj dealing with this, please. <clears throat> it's a good job, though, that you do have somebody here who is on your side advocating for you, Saj. So that, you know, that is a blessing. Right, you've got last quarter moon in Pisces. Talk less and feel more. Okay. So this one says, the danger in your current situation is that you're going to be really good at starting things and less good at finishing them. This card suggests that you need to talk less and feel more. So rather than telling people what you want, you need to feel your feelings about what you want and what comes up. Do you believe in yourself or not? 
Perhaps you started strong, but you're running out of steam. If so, go within and ask yourself how committed you are to your goals. Remember that it's okay to change your mind. Yeah. One of the current energies is all about feelings and the other is in its head. Where are you? Can you meld the two? That's the way. Why ruin a moment with words? Sometimes feelings are enough. It's good to talk, but it's also good to just be. Uh, for manifesting, it says these crystals work well. Purple fluorite, labradorite, sodalite, amethyst, desert rose selenite or celestite. Choose one and hold it close while you meditate, visualizing a lustrous golden light swirling around you. Alternatively, keep your crystal close as you work through your situation, or you can use five or six to create a crystal grid. And then your manifestation affirmation is, I feel all my feelings and it feels good. So basically, Sag, you've got to honor how you feel when you're dealing with that bully and then you've got to take action on how they make you feel. Okay, you've got to take action on that. Right, so to conclude your read, I am pulling from one of the naughty tarot decks. If you're new here, then I do need to give the warning that if you're allergic to swearing or sarcasm, then you just don't have to listen. It's just a bit of light-hearted fun at the end of the read, okay? Because laughter is a very high vibration. Right. You have got icons never go out of style, but you know who does. Shitty people who do shitty things to feed their shitty egos. Ouch. Yeah, so the Billy is going out of style rapidly. Uh, you will actually find, Sag, give this one a couple of months, and you will find that people start to... Um, ignore that bully they start to basically cut ties with them and you will find that they're going to have a lot of fallings out outs with a lot of people okay because people do eventually uh, mature and they do become tired and frustrated of listening to that kind of bs okay so yeah they're rapidly going out of style when you remember everyone is dealing with their own shit on different levels, you start to realize that your shit isn't as bad as you thought it was and that this shit will soon pass. Mm -hmm. Yep, this too shall pass. Everything does. Everything goes in circles. Um... But yeah, really strange read there for you, Sag. But I genuinely do hope that that reading helped out someone. If you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading, then I am currently taking bookings on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. The link for that is in my description box below. Thank you so very much for joining me. Uh, don't forget to go check out your other readings as well for your other placements such as your, your moon, your rising, your Venus, maybe even the daily reads. Um, there, you're bound to find something that can provide more clarity for your situation on any of the amount of readings that I've already uploaded. Okay. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.